What is up guys, Digital Next here, and today we're doing another Darn Man video. So thank you to him, make sure to go check out his channel. Let's just jump right into the video. Huh, Billy. You know, if you don't pass this exam, you're not passing this class, right? Here you go. Thank you, Mrs. Johnson, for calling me out. Is there anything else you want to tell me? Is there is there anything else you would like to share with the class teacher about me? Let me let me, let me sorry, class. Let me get my megaphone. Billy, if you do not pass this exam, you don't pass this class. You're gonna be a super senior, my guy. So get it right. Get it tight this time. Come on. Break. Ah, Frankie. There you are. Hey, nerd, don't trip. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Hey, nerd, don't trip. Mm. You gotta be quicker than that, Peter Parker looking dude. Come on, man. Why does the visual of a nerd have to be big glasses and a button up shirt? Man, that's classy. That ain't a nerd. What justifies a nerd? You may have tripped me now, Billy, but next time, next. I'm gonna summon my frogs with my summoning ditsu. So watch out. Okay, I can't do that voice for long, but still. Plus, the smartest looking dude, wouldn't you wanna be friends with him so he could help you on the test? Listen, I'm gonna need the answers for this test. Uh, no, I, I can't do that. That would be cheating. Look, you don't have a choice. Listen, nerd. I know I just tripped you and caused you embarrassment in front of the entire class, but I'm gonna need your answers for this test because I just need them, all right? I don't gotta explain myself to you, nerd. You don't got a choice. Ow, ow, pop my thumb. <laughs> I don't make a convincing bully, do I? You hear that? That's you, loser. <laughs> I'd be laughing too much. I'd be like, I'm sorry, man, I can't do this. I'm sorry for tripping you. I don't even know why I tripped you. Maybe it's just my own insecurities just getting about me and that I'm portraying them on you. I don't know, maybe because I, I just don't know. That's my bad, I apologize. Fine, but I just want you to know that if you cheat, you'll never get ahead. <laughs> that sounds like something a nerd would say. Oh my God. My mom says that. Does that mean my mom's a nerd? I should have bullied her a long time ago. <laughs> I just, I just, oh, I want you to know. If if you cheat now, you'll never be Hokage. All right? I just need you to know that. I'm like, my guy, we're in high school. Who cares? Okay, listen, I know I shouldn't be saying that. One, don't cheat. Just study for the test. It's not that hard. High school ain't that hard. Everyone's like, oh, high school's so hard. Somebody called the ambulance. I can't do it. It's not that hard. Do your test and graduate. Number two, it ain't that deep, sis. Like, don't look at it as cheating. Look at it as helping a friend out. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you know what would have been the real alpha move? What would have been the most alpha move is if he just flunked it. If he purposely flunked that entire test and then told the teacher afterwards, hey, listen, I had to flunk the test on purpose because I think someone was looking at my answers. Please let me retake it right now real quick. That would have been the most 500 IQ thing to do. What's the bully gonna do? You, you, you failed. I would have been like, that's your fault for wanting to cheat off of me, my guy. So what? I don't know the answers. I don't have the answers in front of me. Knowledge, get some. Matthew, you got all of the answers right. Thanks, Miss J. How to do. Come on inside, Billy. I have your test on my desk. Okay, listen. Billy, my guy, from one person who's cheated off of someone before, uh, listen, what you're gonna not wanna do, I'm gonna give you the, the number one step. Let me, let me just use my big intelligence right here. I'm gonna assume you copied every answer. You copied every answer the same. All you had to do was get a C on the test. You didn't have to get an A. You didn't have to get 100%. What you do is you, you get some wrong and you, 
you, you pass barely. Enough to pass, that's all you had to do. She, your teacher didn't tell you you needed 100% the test. I'm gonna assume you, you copied it letter for letter. Great job on the test. And I'm especially proud of Frankie who scored a perfect 100. And Billy, of course, who got all of the same answers as Frankie. Let's all give them a round of applause. Class, I want to go ahead and very loudly in front of all of you just give thanks to the person who 100% the test. Um, you may not be as good as him. Um, you'll probably won't amount to anything maybe like he will. Uh, I can see him working for NASA, maybe going to the moon while everyone else here maybe at best works at Target. Um, so good job, Frankie for 100%ing this high school test, cause you know that decides the rest of your life. So good job, Frankie. Um, Billy, Billy right next to me, oh crazy, he got 100% too. He's never done that before. You know, when I told him if he didn't pass this test, he was gonna fail, he somehow magically pulled all the answers out of thin air. 100%. So let's give them all a round of applause. And then you got students like, tar Target ain't that bad, I guess. <laughs> Billy, I am so impressed that I would love for you to show us how to solve this problem. Can you answer this? Uh, Frankie can I this. would really like for you to do it. I'll tell you a few things here before he answers the question. Uh, there's, there's a few things he could have done. One, he could have called the teacher out herself in front of the entire class being like, I don't even know the teacher's name. I'm just gonna assume it's Mrs. Johnson. That's a very generic name. We'll just give her that. He could have been like, Mrs. Johnson, making me answer these questions in front of everyone is very uncomfortable. You're making me very uncomfortable. I don't like this at all. I'm probably gonna go talk to the principal. I don't see why you would ever pull me, especially me, in front of the entire class to answer these questions. I think that's incredibly rude. I did the test like you asked, and that's it. I, I just think that it's incredibly rude that you would call me out in front of everyone. That's very unfair. And I don't think you should abuse your power like that. That's one thing he could have done. The next thing he could have done is, my stomach's hurting, I have to go to the potty. And then just run out of the classroom and never come back. But I mean like, how are you gonna call my dude out? That's messed up. And like I said, teacher, it ain't that deep, sis. Like it's a, it's a high school test, come on. I don't, I don't know them off the top of my head, so. It's because you don't know the answer at all. Because when I told you that you had the same answers as Frankie, that would have been great. Except for one minor detail. I created two versions of the exam. They both have all the same questions. The difference is, I changed the order of all of the answers. Yo, the teacher! The teacher! <laughs> She, oh my, she 500, she 500 IQ'd it. She 500 IQ'd the whole thing out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, oh my goodness. This is like watching, this is like watching Death Note or something. She is light yogging me over here. She over here light yogging me, watching the TV inside the back of potato chips right now. You would have had a perfect score if you would have had the same test as Frankie. I have to pass this class. The only pass you're getting, young man, is a pass to the principal's office. All right, teacher, I'll take that pass. And as I'm taking that principal's office pass, ma'am, I'm gonna tell him how you publicly humiliated me in front of the class, which is a horrible thing to do. Yeah, that's right. I'm calling you out, teacher. I'm calling you out for embarrassing me in front. That's scarred. Okay, listen, I get it. It's wrong to cheat. Don't cheat, but it's also wrong to call a student out in the middle of everyone. Granted, you should call someone out when they do something wrong, but you shouldn't like publicly embarrass someone unless it's like something major, like just horribly major. But like, it's high school, all right? Don't, don't, come on, man. You could have like, you could have talked to him after class. You could have, like I said, you could have just talked to him after class. You didn't have to embarrass this dude in front of everyone. That's messed up. That's like, that's emotionally scarring for someone. And let this be a reminder, class that if you cheat, you will never get ahead. Would you be kind enough to show us how to solve this? I would love to. Mrs. Johnson, I got a 75, but Frank is a huge nerd still. <laughs> I'm on the bully side on this one. That was a little too harsh, okay? 
In my opinion, that was a, I would've told my mom when I got home. I'm like, mom, you'll never believe what this mean teacher did in class today, like horrible. You know, since my mom, you know, knows everything about being a lawyer. And then she would've came down to the school and took her job. And then I would've looked at Miss Johnson as she's carrying her box of stuff outside. I would've been like, you know, Miss Johnson, when you publicly humiliate someone, you'll never get ahead in life. Let that be a lesson. And then the bully would've been next to me and he would've been like, same. And then I would've been like, don't touch me, dude, I don't know you. And, and that's how it would've ended. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. What is the lesson of the video? What should have happened? Let me know. And if you aren't already, make sure to follow my social media links. I have an Instagram and I have a Twitter and it's like Instagram at digital next and Twitter at digital underscore next, I believe, I don't know. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button to subscribe for more videos and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.